Hi guys, welcome to Trimmer Trails, the channel that uses the F-150 Ford Trimmer as a platform for overlanding and off-roading. This is the first video of a new series that I'm doing called Trimmer Talk, where in four minutes or less, we dive into questions, gear, and tech all around the F-150 Ford Trimmer. The number one question I get asked is what PSI do I run and what are my thoughts about the General Grabber tire in general? Let's go talk about it. Start the clock. So from the manufacturer, we got the Grabber ATX is an aggressive all season, all terrain tire for light trucks and SUVs designed to balance exceptional off-road capability with on-road performance. My experience with any tire has been, what is my PSI, where is my tire placement when I'm on these roads, and how aggressive and abusive am I actually being to the sidewalls of the tire? Looking at my tires, you can see that they get a lot of abuse. I think with any tire, no matter how expensive you get, if you screw up somewhere, you're gonna cut it. I just watched a video with Matt's Off-Road this week, and they blew up two tires, and those tires are super expensive. Now I hear guys and read things on forums and different places all the time about guys beating up these tires, saying, that they suck but honestly how many hours have they spent out on an off-road trail with these tires so far i have 22,000 miles on these tires with probably 400 to 500 miles being off-road on rock and sand i don't have any complaints about these tires and they're grippy as all get out so far my experience with any all-terrain tire including this one is when i get into mud it's not throwing the mud off fast enough so i do get some tire spin when i'm trying to climb an obstacle as far as psi goes i run my psi at 25 probably probably 95% of the time when I'm off-road. I've tried 30 with just a little bit of cushion. I didn't enjoy it. I've gone a little bit lower. I thought it was too squishy. For these tires, my PSI setting is 25. I would be hesitant to get pretty low on these tires because they don't have a bead lock. And I honestly feel like the ride is best around the 25 mark. Let's talk a little bit about airing down. What I do is I went on Amazon and I bought the grit package. I'll leave a link down below. I don't get paid for it. There's several different options. I just happen to like this one because I had the carrying case and it has an extra pouch where I can keep all of my tire emergency stuff for my sidewalls and punctures. Go out and get yourself a high quality puncture kit so that you can plug your sidewalls and plug your tire when and if needed. Really the reason that I bought this one was because I like the quick air down feature of it. There's several other manufacturers out there that make even faster kits than this one. This is just the one that I have and I happen to like it. This kit it's pretty Pretty easy. What you're going to do, put it on your valve stem clockwise, then you're going to take your back piece, you're going to fill where it gets tight, you're going to counterclockwise, and push your clutch. And what you can also do is you can stop your air. Once you get it to your PSI where you want it, the back piece goes clockwise, the front piece goes counterclockwise. Now for airing up, there's several different manufacturers out there. The reason that I went with the Slime, A, the price point was pretty decent, and B, it's a two cylinder pump. So far, I don't have any complaints about this. It doesn't overheat or anything like that trying to get my air getting my tires aired up. Now, if you're going with bigger tires above 35, you definitely got to get something more heavy duty. This one, in my opinion, was the most heavy duty in its price range. I'll also leave a link down below for that. I don't get paid for it. This is just what I use. I run my tires normally on the highway at 42. That's where I like them. That's what they're rated for on these particular tires. All right, so final thoughts on the General Grabber tires. Honestly, in my humble opinion, I don't think there's a damn thing wrong with them. I think they're just fine. Are they the best tire on the market? Heck no. Are they the best general tire that they make? No, General Tire makes some awesome tires that are a step above these. But would my first mod on my trimmer be new tires? For me, it's a simple no. I'm gonna run these tires until the tread is all gone and they just aren't performing anymore. And then I'll go look at other options. All in all, in my experience on all the trails that I've done, I have never once gone, dang it, I wish I had better tires. It's all about tire placement, it's all about your PSI, and it's all about how aggressive you're gonna run your tire. I hope this helps, thanks so much for watching. Until next time, we hope to see you out there on the trails.